Darren Burden and Simon Holt gave a joint presentation based on their recent trips overseas. They investigated current trends in media companies in the US and Europe. I think uh, if you're looking for context, I guess what we were looking for were uh, ways that other newspapers have been in, been employing to make revenue from online, their online products. And that's basically where we went with it. One of the movements they highlighted was the need for hyperlocal content and creating online communities of people with a shared interest. On my travels, what I did find was that there is a buzz around the perceived need for hyperlocal or the perceived need to create small geographical communities on our sites. Now, we're specifically referring to digital here, so uh, um, there is this perceived need and looking at communities of perhaps about 10,000 people. And uh, in New York, they've just launched yourneighb.com. Uh, that's New York Post. Uh, there are others, including AOL, which has launched its own version of hyperlocal uh, online environment. Uh, but the problem there, I guess, is that they've worked out that if everybody within that environment clicked on the site once, at uh, $15 for a thousand page impressions, that equates to about $300,000 a year, which is hardly enough hardly enough to sustain the wages of the journalists that we have in our books at the moment. Mr Burden said that while he wasn't as convinced about hyperlocal content as Mr Holt, there has been some success in creating online communities in Australia. Um, an example is actually a bit closer to home, it's at Fairfax, so we decided that we needed to get into the youth market, and the youth market um, it's not something that Fairfax is really in that much, as much as we probably think we are. We really didn't really know that much about it. So we created a concept uh, with a partner called Life Lounge. They're based in Melbourne and they run the editorial out of Melbourne. And this was called thevine.com.au. And what this let us do is hit the target market quickly with the right kind of content, with the right kind of partner. And right now it has a successful audience and, and is also commercially becoming commercially viable. While communities and local content may lead to improving and expanding digital media, Mr Holt said they're just part of an overall approach. Everybody's got their own little small pieces of the puzzle and if we can uh, take those small pieces of the puzzle and put them together then perhaps we have a solution for the entire industry. That's the ultimate goal. I don't think we're quite there yet. We're probably about 10% of the way but uh, the, the goal in the next few years is to try and accomplish uh, as much as we can in terms of revenue streams and generation. Mr Burden said another important approach to improving digital media was sharing information. I mean, sharing information is important to a point. I mean, we're still competitive against News Limited, but, you know, sharing to a point is okay. I guess, I guess just the fact that we've been able to come together today is, is showing that we are willing to sit down and share ideas and, and work together towards the common good. Nick Evershed, reporting for Pampa.